been so disappointed. You two get your heinies in here right now. Come on. Yeah, I'm on. Danny? Yes, ma'am. Tell me. Tell me. How could you get thrown out of Little League? It wasn't our fault. Coach Harold hates us. Yeah, he's hated us since the very first day. This is the very first day. <laughs> you two got kicked out before I even made it back to the car. <laughs> Besides, it's not Coach Harold's fault. It's yours for getting into a fight. You know how I hate it when you two fight. But Danny called me a doofus in front of the whole team. Yeah, because you called me a wuss. Well, what kind of wuss screams like a girl when somebody slides into him? Well, what kind of doofus slides into the pitcher's mouth? <laughs> Boys, now stop that. We are gonna stay right here until you can learn to get along. Well, maybe I should get going. Hey, listen, I'll call you back. Can't you help you don't mind? Just Mom, so there's a sign in our... Great shirt. Thanks. They deducted it from my paycheck. Cool. We have to buy our own. So what's the haps? I'm just trying to return this talking picture frame, but she won't let me. Bill, I can't take it back if it's already been recorded on. It was like this when I got it. Bill, you take that ugly ass frame back to that cheap ass store and get me a real anniversary gift! <laughs> Man, remember when we were in Little League? How could I forget? Worst 14 minutes of my life. Look how miserable they are. <laughs> Poor <laughs> bastards. If only there was a Little League for kids like us. You know? Junior badasses. Hey, nothing's stopping us from starting our own league. Let's do it! But screw baseball. We need something more extreme. Something physically demanding. Something that requires strength, coordination, and toughness. Oh, I know. Gymnastics. Wrestling. I mean wrestling. Damn right you do. The Mullet Brothers Junior Backyard Wrestling League. Oh, dude, we could go down in history for this. We'll be rich, famous, and beloved by everybody. Just like Ryan Seacrest. Dude, keep in your hope chest. Okay, honey, your permission slip is all in order. Here's your uniform. Get ready to suit up and throw down. This is the world headquarters of the Junior Backyard Wrestling League. This place is a dump. Listen, mister, don't badmouth my house. It may not be beautiful, but at least it's not those pants. <laughs> Any problem here, Commissioner? Who the hell are you two chuckleheads? We're the coaches. We're Dwayne and Danny Mullet. And Dwayne we... and Danny Mullet? I should have known. I kicked your two-bit butts out of Little League 14 years ago. You're Coach Harold? Hey, you still got that vein in your head that pops out when you get angry? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Come on, H. Junior. We're going. But, Dad, I want to mess some kids up. Listen, this league's for losers. Those coaches, they're chumps. Come on. Now, hold on. My boys are professionals. They run their own roofing business, and they're fully licensed and bonded. They run their own roofing business. Get out of here. Come on. Do you freaking believe that? I can't. It's unfreaking believable. Let's not pay any attention to him. We're here to have fun, right? Right. 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 We're going to build strong bodies and strong moral fiber. OK. Who wants a baseball bat covered in barbed wire? Yeah. <laughs> Backyard wrestling? Just like pro wrestling. Except you're not being paid and you're in someone's yard. <laughs> wrong with that i didn't establish my character you didn't know whether to cheer or boo any questions are we gonna get hurt you will not get hurt but you darn well better act like you have been pretending to be hurt is a skill you will value all your life be it for getting out of work school relationships what have you and get ready because this competition is going to be no holes barred kill or be killed Pile driver, be pile driven. It's the survival of the strongest. Or the smartest. 
For example, in 1986, Ric Flair used a two-pronged oh, strategy. Oh, to bore his opponent to death. <laughs> Anybody who wants to learn pure power can come outside with me. Yeah. And anyone who wants to unleash the power of the mind can stay here with me. <laughs> We're gonna lose very badly, aren't we? No. Listen, I've been dealing with big kids like that my whole life. Let me tell you something I learned as a kid. Boys, stop. Stop it now. Dwayne, you go take a shower while I talk to your brother. Uh, this is so bogus. <laughs> Honey, you're my little thinker. And smarts are a real gift. One not everybody gets. Mom, the tub's overflowing. Are you standing on the drain again? Never mind. <laughs> Wayne's gonna need your help in life, so why don't you let him win once in a while when you're playing a game? You know, one that requires brains, especially, like Donkey Kong. Can you do that for me? Or <laughs> So remember, kids, as long as you use your head, the other guy will never win unless you let him. Now, what's our motto? Your head is your biggest muscle! <laughs> so remember, your head is your biggest muscle, and this is how you use it. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Your head is your biggest muscle, and this is how you use it. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Who are you kids, and what are you doing in my backyard? Coach Dwayne? My mom says I should spend more time studying and less time busting stuff with my melon. No offense, but your mom doesn't know jack squat. When I was your age, my mom told me how things really work. Danny, why don't you go get cleaned up now? That's me. I pity the fool that got to take a shower. <laughs> Dwayne, I want to talk to you, too. You know, you're much stronger than your brother. And that gives you a real advantage over Denny. That's why you have to look out for him. Instead of beating him up? Yes, Wayne. Instead of beating him up. <laughs> go easy on your brother. Let him win once in a while. You know, next time you're playing Transformers, let him be Optimus Prime, okay? I'm on it. Boy! <laughs> See? Braun always wins out over brains. And this is how Braun can shut off the brain. Come here. Now put your arm around my neck like that. Put the other arm behind it and tighten. It's called a sleeper hole. Okay, tighter. Really tight. This is how you shut off oxygen to the... <laughs> nice work today, guys. Get whatever you want, so long as it's fun size. And grab some things to break over each other's heads. Light bulbs are on aisle four. <laughs> Man, you guys are a bunch of shrimps. Why don't you just give up now? Ha! That's the only way you would win, if we let you win. Like then he let Swain win. What? <laughs> Dwayne Mullet earns every one of his victories. That's not what Denny says. Oh. <laughs> what does Denny say? He's been letting win at everything since we were kids. That's not funny, dude. Why would you tell him lies like that? I... Because it's the truth. I didn't want to tell you this, but every now and then I let you win so you won't get your feelings hurt. Mom told me to. <laughs> Oh, man, for a second, I was worried. You get this mixed up. Mom told me to look after you. <laughs> yeah, like, that makes sense. Why would I need help from a straight D student? <laughs> well, stop bragging, Mr. C minus. I've been covering your butt since it was in Gobot Underroots. I've been covering your butt. Stop saying everything I say. You stop saying what I'm saying. I'll stop saying what you're saying when you stop saying it. This saying's not gonna stop until it's you doing the stopping. Oh, my God, guys, what's going on? Most likely, it's a sibling rivalry. These two have a deep-seated conflict, possibly related to the unresolved competition for their mother's affection. Dr. Joyce Brothers? <laughs> wow. So, what should these guys do? <laughs> I don't give solutions for free. <laughs> But jelly won't open. I just reason it open, Einstein. <laughs> Have some jelly. Courtesy of Braun. I don't 
don't need your freaking charity jelly. I don't need anything from you. Hi, boys. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Just brought back your laundry. Is everything all right? Yeah. Just enjoying a breakfast hug. You've been covering for me my whole life. That's a big load of dog logs. I log you not, my friend. Name one time. Dude, fifth grade. Remember that fat jerk that was hassling you? Principal Cooper? Right? Remember how we suddenly stopped? Uh-huh. Never figured out why. I'll tell you why. Because he got tired of his tercel being pushed into the pool. That's why. <laughs> you don't have to thank me. Oh, yeah? Well, remember that time you finally got to make out with Kelly Reichenbach? I think about it every night. That never would have happened if I hadn't asked her to help straighten out my poor gay brother. What? That was the best night of my life, and what? I don't need your help. Not then, not now, not ever. Dude, Mom told me you needed my help. That's what she told me. Well, why don't we just ask her? Or are you afraid to? Maybe you're afraid. Afraid of what? Ghosts. Clowns. You know, the only thing you boys should be afraid of is a big monster hug. <laughs> well, I'm off to Costco to pick up some crab legs and contact lenses. See ya. Good job asking her who's better. You totally wussed out. Hey, it was your dumb idea, Cornbag. You got a better way to settle this? As a matter of fact, I do. Well, I don't. So tell me yours. Okay, your top wrestler against mine in a battle to prove once and for all what's better, brain or brawn. You're on. Get ready for the event of the backyard wrestling season. An extreme Texas-style children's smackdown. Prepare your ass for kicking. I suggest you do the same. All right, you. This is it. Two days from now, one of you will take on one of Dwayne's giant slobbering oafs. You'll be armed with only your wits and possibly a folding chair. <laughs> At stake is our entire way of life. Who will rise to meet this challenge? I will. Li Lin, your knowledge of wrestling theory is impressive. <laughs> but are you ready to fight in the ring? Absolutely. I have taught you well. <laughs> okay, men. The time to pick our gladiators upon us. We can wait no longer. Because the ring's a rental and we're paying out the yin yang. <laughs> you! You're extreme enough. But are you extreme enough? <laughs> you! You got the best choke slam I ever seen on a 12 year old kid. But I'm not gonna make any snap decisions. Are you guys still wrestling? I pick you! I'd just like to teach some smart kids a serious lesson in whoopology. That's my favorite subject. Of wrestling is yelling into a microphone. Now let's hear some trash talk. You're going down, mister. Rapidly and thoroughly. Close enough. Now let's get ready to rumble. Hey, my wife wants me to tell y'all to keep it down. You want to be our announcer? Sure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, prepare to witness the most spectacular display of. Well, what's this crap y'all doing here? <laughs> Children's Backyard Wrestling. Okay. The following contest is for the title of Best Mullet Brother. Coming down the aisle with her manager, Denny, weighing in at a lean, mean 68 pounds, L. Girl! And now, entering with his manager, Dwayne, Povitron, 9,000! 
night. Pelvatron 9000. The mighty metal badass from the future, baby. A robot from the future? That's the dumbest gimmick I've ever heard. Yeah? What are you gonna do about it, dingus? I could snap your neck like a Slim Jim. I've seen you try to open a Slim Jim, genius. Good freaking luck. <laughs> oh, you want some of this? Maybe I do. I Maybe mean, after the match, we can go a few rounds, huh? Why wait at all? Little thing called using your head. Yeah! <laughs> no, that's using your head. Yeah! Oh my God, this is outrageous. Dwayne Mullen is headed for the roof, but the only tool he's taking is himself. It looks as if he's preparing for the biggest elbow drop in wrestling history. Won't anybody stop? Because you said I was. You told well, me you better than me, Mom. Me. That's ridiculous. You told me look at himself. Win. Who do you love best? <laughs> so, do you want to know who I love best? Yeah! The boys look visibly nervous as Mom prepares to reveal her most private secret. Let's listen in. <laughs> First of all, I love you both the same. I told you you both had the advantage is because I wanted you to look out for each other. When you work together, you're unstoppable. And when you don't, well, it just breaks my heart. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. You're, you're not. I am, too. Let's bring it on, sorry, boy. Hello? Excuse me. I hate to break up your little tea party there, ladies. Well, well, look who's back. Don't be fooled by the pants, kids. He's not a real clown. You shut up. I told you I didn't want you hanging around here no more. I just wanted to have some fun. I'm tired of lame-ass little league. You better put the brakes on that tongue of yours, Harold. I'm not Harold anymore, Dad. Call me Pulvitron 9000. <laughs> Get in the Hummer. Hey, you, you put him up to this, didn't you? You know what? You're both still a couple of chuckleheads. Oh, back off, old man. It was your son's idea. Old man. How would you like to see what this old man can do with a long-haired punk like you, huh? Anytime. Anytime you can get out of your rocking chair, Grandpa. <laughs> rocking chair, Grandpa. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Work, bro. Hey, you should get the credit. You distracted him with your awesome mental psycho combat powers. It is so good to see my favorite tag team back in action. You guys really are unstoppable. Now, let's get out of here before he comes to. Who wants ice cream? Yeah!